I'd like to go through the curriculum continuum a little bit more detail using some example year levels. So here we've got an example year 7 where the year 7s have divide, been divided up into four core groups called 7A through to 7D. So there'd be roughly 25 kids who we label as 7A and they do they are together for English, Science, Health and Humanities. Likewise for 7B, 7C and 7D. So this is what I call a core group or a home base home based structure and the key point from a timetabling perspective is this English class is independent from these other classes so I could run English with that at the same time as that science uh, or health or humanities I've got lots of flexibility so this structure is really good for dealing with part-time teachers that need particular days off or particular times off now we could then use this structure here called a circle or a band. So it's similar to this. Here we've got different groupings of students. We've got five groups of students now. So there'd be roughly 20, 20 kids in a group and that used to be the case with practical classes. So I've got an, another group called 7-1 and those kids that are labeled 7-1 do wood together and do art together. And we've got another group called 7-2 and they do art and technology. So the key thing about this structure is that wood class could run at the same time as that tech class. So within this band, we can move subjects left or right, depending on our need. Then we move through to a, what I call a mini block, and that's where we run two or more classes together. In this case, we're going to run 7A and 7B maths together. So they run at the same time. As soon as you run classes at the same time, it means you can change the groups of students or the way the kids are grouped. So at the moment, or in this structure over there, the students in that max class would be the 7A kids and the students in that class would be the 7B. But by running them at the same time means we can mix the groups up depending on our purpose. So maybe we want to uh, divide the kids into ability groups or for some other reason. And I've got another mini block down here with the 7C and 7D, so same thing goes. Then we can go right through to a full block or what we call a line where I'm running all four PE classes at the same time. So when I do that, that means I can intermingle the whole year level depending upon my needs. So I can break them up into boys and girls or I can break them up into interest groups. Uh, I can break them up into teams, whichever way I want to do it. So within that one year level, we've got almost a full range of curriculum structures. And for software, it's important to be able to deal with this style of curriculum as well as that the style of curriculum. Um, early on a lot of software only dealt with this style of block or mini block type curriculum. We have such a program in my state in Victoria the government has purchased a program called Cases 21 which is a variation on a commercial package called Maze and it's really good at this style of curriculum here but it doesn't handle this core group structure very well. As a result, these days not many people use it because of its lack, lack of flexibility. Um, compare that to a year 12 structure. This is a fairly typical structure where we mostly have a block or a line structure. So that chemistry, info, wood and English, they run at the same time for five periods. We've got another block of different subjects. So the key about this structure here is that we've tried to give the kids choices so a student might be in that chemistry class and they might be in that maths class they might be English as a second language student there they might do Auslan this was actually a deaf school where the part of the curriculum was learning Auslan the sign language um, language and so on so we've got a in a typical high school fit this structure together with a year seven structure like that um, which can be quite difficult. But that in a nutshell is a bit of an overview of the range of curriculum styles that schools will run and if you're a timetable you really need to understand that and secondly if you're a software developer you need you, you need to understand that as well. Thank you.